In today's video, we're going to be looking at working out the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor. In order for this to make sense, we need to look at an example. So we're going to be finding the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor of 248 and 56. So what does finding the lowest common multiple mean? Well, it means finding the smallest number that 248 and 56 both go into. The highest common factor is different. This time you're looking for the biggest number that goes into both values you've been given. So in order to do this, we need to write both numbers as products of prime factors, which sounds disgusting, but let's just remind ourselves what a prime number is. And it is a number which is divisible by itself and one only. And let's take some examples. So we don't use one because one is only divisible by itself. Two is the first prime number because it's divisible by itself, which is two and one. Three is the second prime number is divisible by 3 and 1. 5 is the third prime number. Then we have 7, which is divisible by itself and 1. 8 is not a prime number because it's divisible by 4 and 2, 1 and 8. So clearly that's not obeying our prime number definition. 9 is not a prime number. It's divisible by 3, 9 and 1. 10 is not a prime number. 11 is our next prime number. So I hope you understand what a prime number is. So now we've looked at the definition of prime number, we can now look at working out the products of prime factors. So let's start by looking at 56. The easiest way to do this after everything I've said is simply dividing by 2. So what's 56 divided by 2? Well, it's 28. And I'm going to circle 2 because 2 is the smallest prime number here. 28 I can divide by 2. And that becomes 2 and 14. We've got another 2, which is the lowest prime number, so we're not going to divide any further. 14 can be divided by 2 to become 7. And we know that 7 is a prime number, so we're done. So 56 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. So I've just pulled out the numbers I've circled. Let's do the same now with 248. Divide it by 2 to get... 1, 2, 4, divide by 2 to get 62, divide by 2 to get 31, and 31 is actually a prime number, as it's only divisible by itself and 1, so I'm going to circle all my prime numbers and write out 2, 4, 8 as a product of prime factors. And if they ask you to write it out as a product of prime factors, that's actually your answer there, you don't need to do anything else. However, we're interested in looking at the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor, so I'm going to show you what you need to do with these numbers now. I'm going to use a Venn diagram to show you how to actually solve this. I think it's the most straightforward method. So a Venn diagram has two, um, two overlapping circles, and we're going to write both numbers next to the circles, so 56 in this example and 248. Now, in the overlapping portion, which is here, we need to look at which numbers are the same for both 56 and 248. So we've got three twos present in both. So I'm going to pop those straight into the overlapping region of the Venn diagram. And then in the rest of the circle goes the number which is not present in both. So that's 7 for 56 and 31 for 248. Now we're almost ready to answer the question, so we're going to look first of all for the highest common factor, and if you remember from the start of the video, this is the biggest number that goes into both values. And the nice straightforward thing here is you just take out the overlapping region of the Venn diagram, which is here, and multiply those numbers together to get a value which is 8. And you can actually test this, you can work it out, does 8 go into 56? Yes it does. 8 goes into 56 7 times, and 8 goes into 248 31 times. 
So that's done for the highest common factor. Now the lowest common multiple, which we can see above, is the smallest number both go into. And all you have to do here is multiply each number that appears in the Venn diagram together. So we can see that's 7 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 31 which you're probably going to have to use your calculator for, which is 1,736. And there are your two answers. Let's look at a second example now. So 252 and 45, we're looking for the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor again. So we need to start by working out, working out both numbers as products of prime factors. So taking 252, we need to work out which prime numbers go into it. So I'm going to start by just dividing by 2. That's the easiest thing to do. So... 252 divided by 2 is 126. Divide that by 2 is 63. Now, 63 isn't divisible by 2, but it is divisible by 3, which is another prime number. So if we divide by 3, we get 21. Now, 21 is divisible by 3, and that value is 7. And that is a prime number, so we're finished. We've just got a list of prime numbers. So writing out 252 as products of prime factors, we get, if we write down all the numbers we've circled, and that's written out. Let's now do the same with 45. 45 is divisible by 3, which is a prime number. And 45 divided by 3 is 15. 15 is divisible by 3 to give us a value, which is 5. 5 is a prime number. So we're done. That was much quicker. Write out the numbers you've circled. And now they're written out as products of prime factors. Now we need to find the lowest common multiple and highest common factor, which we're going to do by using a Venn diagram. So we draw our two circles. We write the numbers we're talking about on the edge. And now let's look at our products of prime factors and see which numbers are the same for both lists. So we've got a 3 here, a 3 here and a 3 here, and a 3 here. We write two 3s in the middle, and then let's look at what's spare on the side. So we've just got a 2, a 2, and a 7 for 252, and a 5 for 45. And now to work out the highest common factor, you simply take the overlapping regions and just write 3 times 3. Work that out, it's 9. The lowest common multiple, we're just looking for the numbers present in the whole Venn diagram, so that's 2 times 2 times 7 times 3 twice, times 5. Once we've worked that out in our calculator, it's 1,260, which is the lowest common multiple, which is the smallest number that both 252 and 45 go into. Hope you found this video really helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and like it, and I'll be back soon with another video.